All right, so it's time to have uh, Prince back and Eddie in the studio of JJCC. Hello, guys. Who's that? Hey, yo. Peter and Pretty Mac, give it up. Yeah. 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 Wow, uh, you guys are really getting it. Yeah. Hopefully. It's a bit early Stop in Stop monitoring yourselves on the TV. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> they keep looking at them beautiful selves on the TV right now. No, I'm wearing a beanie today. I wasn't supposed to wear a beanie. Um... I was doing my hair today, I was straightening it, and then I burnt myself on a finger, so Aww. I gave up on that. And I'm just looking at myself like, this beanie doesn't really suit what I'm wearing today. No, it does. You so look cute. Give that. Both of you look very warm today. It's cold outside. Yes, it's too freezing. Cold. Too cold. Freezing, freezing. It's I can't feel freezing. my fingers anymore. Yeah, it's cold. It's yes. cold. So please um, keep vote, warm, guys. And vote for Eddie. <laughs> okay, so our listeners no, are quite need, excited need, today yeah. because they've been voting since the first hour. Oh, really? Yeah, oh. so they don't know which team you're going to be promoting today. They, I guess they really don't care. <laughs> they don't care anymore. <laughs> they don't care because they're just voting for Eddie and Prince Mac already. Oh, thank you. So uh, today we're going to be looking at two very powerful rookie teams to uh, look back of 2014, which is Winner and Got7. So who yes. is who today? Who's uh, in charge of who? I am rooting for the team whose name is already the winner. Ah, that's just YG, a name. Super rookie, <laughs> it's just winner. A name. It's just okay. A name. Uh, and I'm rooting for a team which I feel like got a good connection. I haven't met them before, but um, I, like I, I did Jackson before, and I said I have, there's a lot of stuff we're really similar. And also, why I say I have good connection with them, like in 2010. Uh, I think many people know this about this already, but I'll just say it again that JYP came to Australia and yeah. he said he wanted me to join um, as a trainee. Mm -hmm. And that time I was still studying, so I I couldn't do it. My parents didn't let me. So I'm saying like you know I'm doing Got Seven now. Like it could have been Eddie it been sitting here doing Got Eight. <laughs> well, I, so I could even be JJCC or Got if Eight. You put it like that. I could <laughs> have been yeah, Anyways, okay. Nah, okay. Anyways, but uh, you know I'm happy now. You know that so I'm I'm here. And I'm ab able to talk about GOT7. So I'm wow. really looking forward to it today. Yeah, I mean, I feel it uh, It would be kind of unique to see... Oh, it feels different to know that, like you said, to be a part... You might have been... You could have yeah, been a part life. of a team. Mm, life. You could have been a part of a team, but uh, for whatever reasons, that domino effect or butterfly effect, whatever mm. you like to call yeah. it, happened, and now you are here in the studio with us talking about yes, that. Yes, yes. Mm. So uh, you're going to be in charge of GOT7, and then we've got Eddie in charge of winner for today. Yes. Uh, personally, personally... Mm -hmm. Uh, since I have I, been fangirling a lot these okay, past couple okay. of weeks, I'm a GOT7 fan. Oh. <laughs> you thought I was going to say winner. But you, know, um, you know, in winner, you know, Song Mino, the rapper? Yes. His very close friend is Tico from Block B. Yeah, I, yeah, I know that. Yes. Doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter. <laughs> she rooted for Block B last time. But, and I lost. No, but <laughs> <laughs> but uh, for me personally, uh, Winner, I did see the show, Winner. Mm. And uh, honestly, I was rooting for B Team. I was, oh. I was rooting for Icon. So yeah. uh, when Mix and Match was happening, I was pretty excited for that. But mm. uh, it does... It, I'm not. Doesn't mean that it's gonna help. Like Chris <laughs> said, I rooted for Black B last time and we lost. So, <laughs> okay, uh, start, so. Uh, I might be jinxing you guys. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, we've got a lot of uh, a lot to talk about because obviously, I mean, Winner and Got Seven both have a lot to talk about just overall member wise. Mm. So who wants to go first? Uh, well, should I go first? Okay, okay. Go? Come I'll go. go. Okay, I'll go first. Anyways, I'm rooting for GOT7 today, the <coughs> super boy group um, who debuted this year under JYP Entertainment mm -hmm. just two months before us. Ah. And, um, oh, wow. Yeah, and like just last month they've also debuted in, in Japan and stuff like that. So, um, GOT7, they're known as like the Sunshine Boys, um, the kind of boyfriend image. Mm -hmm. um, and like JYP said, they're style is like martial artsy uh tricking yes. um groove dance style like uh, got seven dollar trained by um uh, actually a friend of mine a friend of mine his name's and andy lee mm -hmm. um of martial club he trained jackson and mark and stuff a friend like of us wow. a friend of us yes. why only you <laughs> oh, okay. yeah, you know him as well you know who he is you know who he is yeah yeah yes. you know who he is but i talked to him uh personally like, he messaged me like 
Okay. I mean, so Andy Lee, you know, you know, you know what I'm talking about, Andy Lee, yes. But yes. Yes, Andy. Uh, yeah, of, of Marshall Club. Like, we're mm. all we're good friends. We've met him before. And, like, he's, he's great. So, I'm sure Jackson and Mark, you know, doing a good job. Um, Eddie, Eddie is mainly our martial artist in the group. Yeah, I but, just, yeah, I just said um, that. <laughs> yes, forget about him, actually. I'm not rooting for him. I don't want to talk about it. Go on. It looks like so Prince mean. is being nice today. Well, I'm always nice, okay? No, you're not. <laughs> you know, and, you know, the, the, the Super Rookie group, they've done, done mm. a lot this year, you know, whether yes. it's variety shows, songs, uh, different music shows. Um, so I think GOT7 is a, is a very, very strong rookie group this year, and I'm thinking, you know, it's the end of the year now, they should be getting a lot more awards now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Uh, what about winner? Uh, well, actually, before their debut, you know, they were actually pretty known. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, the winner of the... Uh, the winner, I said. Sorry. <laughs> the leader of winner, uh, Kang Sing Yoon, he was a uh, top four in the program Superstar K in season two. He also came out in a sitcom with Crystal, High Kick. Mm -hmm. And also, he debuted with a drama OST, and with that song he actually got two awards mm -hmm. one rookie of the year award and one uh i think it was a rookie of the month award mm -hmm. and apart from him there's you know Lee Seung-woon who came out and you know k-pop star and it was a very it was a very big issue because you know boa yg jop they you know they gave him good feedbacks you know like oh very good at dancing and very good at choreography and also last song you know he actually debuted it in 2011 mm. with a team called uh boom mm -hmm. And, you know, he featured in a lot of songs, you know, a uh, song, It's Not Over by Miss S, before, you know, he went to winner. And also, he's, like I said before, very good friends with Zico. And, well, right now, I think, you know, just the three of them, just look at it, you know for a fact that if they debuted it, it's going to be a big, you know, credible thing. Of course. Thing. And as you see, you know, as soon as they came out, they swept all the charts, got first place in every single music channel, music chart. They actually got the Triple Crown. Yeah. Mm. yeah, and and that's when they just debuted it, you know. Mm. So uh, what can I say? Speaking of, you know, before that, um, like JB and JR, they debuted before as yes, well. Yes, they did. And, um, JJ, as Project. JJ Project. Yeah, mm -hmm. I actually interviewed them when they were part of JJ Project. Yeah, yeah. and you know, before that, before they were Got Seven, they did variety shows. They mm -hmm. did dramas. You know, they start in um, the dramas such as Dream High, Dream High Two mm. thing. And now, now you know they've Got Seven, they have their own. Um, just a week after the debut, they had their own variety show. Yeah. And they also had their own uh, online drama with all the members. Yes, they did. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think uh, the difference between GOT7 and Winner, Winner right now is more music-wise. Mm -hmm. You don't really see them much on variety shows or... I don't right. think you've seen them at all in dramas. Yeah, uh, dramas, uh, no, before no, no, no. not really. But as you know, YG, they're not really that kind of you know uh, program show kind of uh, company. Yeah. They're mm. just you know music. I mean, performance stage wise. So I think, you know, uh, uh, they're just pushing it with their music because, you know, their music is great. That song is very uh, catchy, you know. I'm not, because I like Winner too, honestly. I like Winner too, but I'm, I'm really for Got 7 because I feel like I have more of a connection uh -huh. with them. Like, say for Got 7, for me, I feel they have, they show more character. Uh -huh. um, each member, they show their characters. Um, and Winner, they're more of, for me, the kind of mystery. Ah, the mysterious look. Okay. But, so um, more so. Uh, God Seven is more approachable, whereas and we mm, know a yes, lot yes. of the layers behind them. But as winner, they still leave a lot of things mysterious. They mm. just all we know is pretty much their music is yeah, what yeah. you're saying. Yeah. Okay. This is a good like JJCC. We're we're pretty approachable. Aren't we? Not yeah. really. We're we're actually more of not really. Winner. Not really. Like, if you if you compare us to more other families than any other idol group. Well, yes, but uh, like winner, we're actually you know when they debuted, they actually debuted like us. You know, Charmin Dagger at first. You know, it was that sort of mysterious. Look. And mm -hmm. after we, when we debuted it, we didn't go on any programs that much. Only on a couple of radios, as you think about it. And actually, how many they, interviews did we do, man? Uh, that's just they did a lot of new interviews too. But I'm talking about show programs, you know, like radios, you know, variety uh, variety shows. But they're actually more like us because you know when they first debuted, they didn't go out with you know the big performance, big dance move kind of style. They just then went went uh like the luxury. Uh, mm. luxury sort of you know cool you can sit back and listen to music kind of style like us so I feel like we have a more closer bond than COT7 okay and if you think that they can't dance if you watch the the uh, battle program win win yeah you I could watch it it's they can dance but they choose not to because mm. you know they're good at the music and yeah, the music actually good. was uh, YG trainees versus JYP trainees you know? there, yeah. was oh, yeah. Yeah, there, there was an was episode yeah there was an episode yeah. there was an so episode was... and who won well, I think YG won no <laughs> man, no man. I'm so sorry. I think I think I, I honestly think think Joey P won. Mm, not really. I'm not really sure. I watched that episode. Okay, guys, just watch it for yourself. JYP won. 
Really? Yeah, I watched yes. it. I watched it. JYP won. Yes. Woohoo! Yeah. From what I remember. Yeah. From what I remember, I could be wrong. No, I don't, I, okay. I, I will double check during honestly, the Honestly, I don't think anybody yes. won, but it doesn't check matter who won. But as long as we all know, have our own opinion. I think JYP won. I think JYP won. No, but but I'm, more, I'm more of the YG style, though, music wise, mm. style wise. Mm, fair enough. Mm. Fair enough. That's why you're rooting for winner, isn't it? Because mm-hmm. <laughs> you know we're winners. <laughs> it's the name, man. You know, honestly, <laughs> for me as a host, winner's team name is something that's very re- memorable, mm-hmm. but it is hard to say. Mm-hmm. Why? Because winner just won. They're the winners of this year. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Winner is the winner of this year's Wookiee Award. It's just like grammar check. Mm-hmm. Every, time I have to say, every time I have to say their name, I'm just like, it's true. okay, wait, am I saying this right? Am I, <laughs> that's am like G-O-D, man. <laughs> Yeah, I, I was like, I, am I making sense at all to anybody? Okay. All right, so uh, we're looking at winner and got seven right now for uh, the votes, and I know that a lot of our listeners have been voting since hour one, but now that you've heard who they're rooting for, you might want to read double check who you want to vote for so prince mac is uh, rooting for got seven uh today and then eddie is voting for winner so this is kind of making us look and see who is more popular with our k-pop and listeners Mm. uh is it going to be winner or got seven or is it going to be prince mac or is it going to be eddie Eddie? uh continue to send in those votes uh we will uh we will be uh seeing the penalty later on uh the penalty, oh, you can't really see it. So on Prince Max mic right now, there are four uh, pins. Oh. So there are laundry pins that okay. are on there. Oh. Um, the reason, okay. don't take them off. The reason why they're on there is because right now the pins are brand new and I tried it. So the penalty is to put them on your face. Oh. I tried it because they're oh. brand new. They hurt oh. really bad. So I couldn't even have it on my ear for about a second. So we're stretching them out in the process. So we're hoping that them being on the metal bar, Mm. it's going to stretch them out just a little bit. So you have to put these on your face, and that is the penalty for Uh, today. Why are we here? (laughs) (laughs) We're here for the penalties. Uh, So yes, uh, those are going on your face. Your face. Mm, yes. Prince's face, okay. No, no problem. <laughs> no, so he's, he's so mean today. Votes. He's so mean today. Uh, we're gonna listen to a few tracks. We've got "Winner" with Empty Kungwe, followed by "Got Seven" with Girls, Girls, Girls. We'll see you after this with more of these two guys in the studio and your votes. Save me, Kungwe. Save me. So the polls are in for the first half of our ultimate vote this week. Mm. For the past couple of weeks, I keep telling you either someone's in the vote, uh, in the lead, or someone's in the lead, right? Yes. All you Eddie and Prince Mac fans, it's actually neck and neck. Oh. So oh. they're actually Hello. literally tied, and then someone wins, and then tied, and someone wins, tied, and someone wins, tied, and someone wins. So. Uh, send in more votes. That just means that you have to put a little bit more oomph in your voting, uh, because if not, (laughs) you're going to see your favorite... ...member with pins on his Save the Eddie. (laughs) Save (laughs) the Eddie. Come on. (laughs) Three weeks. No, man. I'm already injured today. Oh. Poor Poor baby. Yeah, it's got a big blister. Wait, how did you burn your finger? It was the hair straightener. Yeah, how? It was on the floor. and uh, Oh, you grabbed it wrong. I grabbed it and then, yeah. Yeah, girls do that with the curling iron. You Uh, grab a piece of hair and you're like, oops, and then you're like, grab Yes. the head of it yeah yeah, yeah. And it hurts Eesh. that hurts Eesh. okay so a lot of our listeners are freaking out i'm so torn i love got seven but i want to vote for eddie hey man what is this uh okay uh so good luck to both of you if Prince Mac wins, I'll think of Mark from GOT7, since she's a GOT7 fan. Oh. Okay. So, uh, for those of you who are torn, let me remind you who's re- representing who. Prince Mac is representing GOT7. Eddie is representing Winner. So, since it is neck and neck these days, pl- you know, start sending in more messages. What, what, what? What should we talk about to help you get more 
votes. It's all about life. <laughs> life. It's all about life. It's all about, about got life. seven. Okay. How, what about top, uh, got seven to get Talk you more? about got seven. As we know, Adi Dang Radio is an international radio. Mm-hmm. And I think got seven is more of an international group. Yes, they are. Because, you know, they have members, you know, uh, from... Canada, Taiwanese background, from Hong Kong, he went to an American school, uh, members from Korea, members from Thailand. You know, they're a very multicultural group. More than us, I think. Mm. International. <laughs> more than us. Yeah. More than us? <laughs> more than and us. And definitely more than winner. Well, winner's all curvy, and that's true, <laughs> but, you know. Um, but they're all Korean. Oh, we got Koreans too. Got Seven's got Koreans as well. But they're all Koreans. Uh, anyways, anyways, what we're talking about. But even though, yes, you know, uh, Winner, they haven't been out on, you know, oh, you know, worldwide. They have, they're not that famous worldwide yet. But even in Japan, they got second place in the Oricon charts. Mm-hmm. And I think soon, soon they're going to start going out, you know, worldwide. And I think they're going to be a little more better. But I think just focusing on Korea right now. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like Gus 7 is, is extreme abroad. And like in Japan, the debut. Mm, oh, yeah. They got first. Yes. <laughs> they got first and top, but the, the Orion Oricon chart they got top five. Uh, I think it was fourth place. I remembered, and you know the album maybe because of Bam Bam in Thailand it sold really well. It was mm. first on the chart in Thailand. Ah, Bam, nice. Bam Bam. That's, that's such a cute name, Bam Bam. Bam Bam. <laughs> I should call myself Mac Mac. No, don't go there, buddy. No, 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 no. Bam Bam's cute, and he's short and he's cute don't yeah prince back is a lot better <laughs> it doesn't uh, fit your image you're not uh, cute i'm not cute you're oh, more manly man I mean, you're than the, cute you're the first person says i'm not cute no you're more I'm manly, manly man than uh, not okay, than we'll cute. see we'll see what um, uh, i'm thinking w- in our group you're the cutest yeah but. But if you think of like <laughs> idols in general, our group's full of ugly members. Is that what you're trying to say? No. <laughs> See, look at this mean guy. He's just I'll starting again. Exactly what you're trying to say. No, no, no. You're the cutest, as in cute wise. Uh. To out of you know. Alright, bam, bam, you win. Move on. <laughs> oh, they're gonna say I'm you know going out of topic. Really. Uh, uh, no, but uh, I, I'd have to say that Bam Bam is a little bit more of a cute member. So mm, like yes. he's he's the cute. Uh, he's in charge of the cute in the, the team I'd have to say even though um, a lot of the other members even though he is one of the youngest members I'd have to say that you know he does have the cuteness thing going on Bam Bam is a hardcore Rain fan as well so oh so I didn't the Rain know that. fans out there you know oh I did not Freddy. know that all <laughs> well, no, the Rain fans out there uh, both ready <laughs> he, he, he actually won a Rain the Rain cover dance competition in Thailand Oh, oh, that's um, one of the nice. reasons why he went to JYP. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Nice. So, and you know, actually, because a lot of the members in Got Seven are like have a active back. I don't know, like dancey, whether it's martial arts or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, Yu Gyeom was a, is a street dancer. Yes. Mm-hmm. Like me, you know, um, he's a professional house dancer. And then you have um, Jackson, who was a fencer. Mm-hmm. The um, what uh, youth championship fencing mm-hmm. championship winner champion yeah, yeah. and then you got like mark who's a martial arts uh tricker mm-hmm. and then uh b-boy jb mm-hmm. jb's a b-boy mm-hmm. and then um jr plays the piano and stuff like that so i think they're pretty multi-talented like they all have their own roles in the group exactly mm-hmm. yeah. okay what about winner well i think well you know as he said you know god seven they're all you know they have their own things you know piano martial arts tricking uh, fencing dance. uh dancing but also uh winner too uh, you when he's actually you know a very uh, popular street artist or a street dancer as well but mostly winner i think they're more talented in the music wise because if you see their program you know the uh winner program the win program all the songs and all the dancing choreography they did it themselves mm. and especially uh winner on their last uh, round should i say you know they made their own songs True. wrote their own lyrics and they got you know they won with that song so you know it must be more how do you say uh touching for them because you know they made the song mm. and yeah mo- usually uh in all in this album i heard that they their album they actually wrote a lot of the lyrics they actually uh uh, made some of the songs helped out you know writing the music and stuff so I th- yeah performance wise I think God 7 is much better but music wise I think winner is winner <laughs> I'm sorry but ah, okay. music wise God, okay because I think um, as God 7 it's not like they don't want to produce their own music 
they have a super producer, JYP, doing it for them. Well, mm. if you it's see like that, it's like you know Jackie Chan says, you know, I'll, I'll do it for you. Let me let me do it. And we're not gonna say no. We never say no to Jackie Chan. No, I say no. I want to make my own music too. But uh, winner too. Come on, YG, come on. They have a, a lot of really great producers. You know, they have in their team. They have you know Psy. They have Epic High. They have Big Bang. They have G Dragon. Come on, yeah, G Dragon <laughs> produces own music. Psy produces own music. You know. Yeah. So you know, and they could they could get a lot of help from you know their uh, some best you know their seniors and you know their boss and their friends. But they choose to do their own style, which is I think more better than you know get actually getting a uh, songs from the boss because. Of course, you know, JYP makes you know, good music, but hmm. if you write your own, yeah. you know, music and lyrics, I think it'd be more better. I think Plus 7 opinion. does do their own style, you know, they do their dance, mm. their dance, their character, you know, it's their style. Like Jackson, you know, his style is just a bubbly personality, I like to do whatever, you know, I'm so natural, and that's why he goes on variety shows, and mm. he does really well in them. Mm, true. You know, many, many variety shows for Jackson now. Mm, yeah. And, you know, um, JB and JR, they're more of a actors mm -hmm. they go into the acting career and then you know they've also emceed many um music shows mm -hmm. uh -huh. and different music shows and jackson also did MC for Adi Dong. Mm -hmm. uh, simply k-pop was mm -hmm. yeah he was MC for simply k-pop so i think mm. Mm, god seven I, I still stick with god seven well I, I think it is different though because god seven you know they're more active and they come out a lot on tv shows and you know in the performance and you know style is you know you can tell it's got seven right but also winner they have their own little um they have the yg style and they're, they're not really open to a lot of people but still people love them because their music is great and i feel that maybe on their next comeback they'll try to come out more uh, just a feeling well, uh, to even though I am rooting for GOT7 today to help Eddie here uh, with Kiburizima mm. uh, or Don't Flirt, they did show, Winner did show us a little bit of a different side yet mm. again. Uh, if we saw a lot of powerful dancing and choreography and songwriting in Win. Uh, during the uh, performances mm -hmm. there, uh, we did get a chance to see a little bit of cuteness, mm. uh, them acting cute and whatnot during uh, Don't Flirt, which was <laughs> a little bit of a different yeah. side for yeah, them. That's true. Um, but like uh, Prince keeps saying, overall, yes, Scott Seven does have a lot of layers that they're already showing to mm. the public uh, through each song. Even for Girls, 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 it was very charismatic, but also cute at the same time. But yep. then, like with A, they came up with like super cuteness. Yeah, sorry, I found girl for a moment cuteness. there. <laughs> super cuteness. But super Prince cuteness. Has been on like every major variety show. Yes, they have. Seven, yeah, they've been very True. busy all year. Mm, I think Jackson has been doing very well, especially with Roommate oh, these yes. days. Uh, yesterday's uh, teaser for Christmas was quite touching. Uh, it oh, looks like. It. Uh, last night's episode seemed to be pretty exciting because uh, they went to see JYP himself mm. while he was uh, getting ready for his Christmas concert. Uh, oh. Is that the one that JYP said that he almost didn't choose Jackson yeah. to be in GOT7? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that was yeah, the episode. Because he thought Jackson wasn't capable uh, yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah actually i i read about it i read mm. news about that but i haven't seen it yeah I, I i didn't see the whole episode i just saw some of the clips that were posted earlier Iguktu was did a performance of coming of age uh. by Park Chun, and jyp in the back was like yeah that's an amazing performance so uh i think that but jackson gave us i think a little bit of a soft side he broke down i guess he meets his mom in the next episode for their christmas party um. and i think it's the first time we've seen with winner we saw a lot of emotions mm. during the show uh yeah. for the process of team a and team b winning and losing um but we haven't really seen a lot of emotions from got seven we've seen their dorky side yeah, they're always happy yeah they're always happy cute. goofy jumping around but i feel that through roommate and some of the other variety shows that we've been seeing them individually we've been seeing a little bit more of their emotional mm. side mm. uh more of a toned down side to them the softy sure. side. Yeah, softy they're softy side. side. You can see a lot of softy side on, for winning. Right? Out of these <laughs> two, out of you two, who seems to be the most with tears? Who seems to cry the most? Prince? <laughs> really? No. I, he, no. Like, you know, he said he's uh, a little, you know, him and Jackson, they're sort of like mm. the same character. Yes. He cries at night by himself. Oh, I wouldn't say I cry at night by myself, but I think night time, you know, when when you sleep is the loneliest time. Yeah, it, and it gets. It's like that's when I just when I lie in bed, I just think about my family and think about Aww. stuff. 
Oh. I'm sorry, but these days when I lie in bed, it's he just out for asleep, me. Man. It's out for <laughs> me. Uh, I need to wake up in four hours. Come on, you gotta <laughs> sleep, man. There's no time to think. Yeah, I, I miss oh. my family a lot. Oh, I'm sick. <coughs> okay, uh, what? Let's try. So vote for Mac. So what, let's talk about <laughs> one more thing about each team before we take another song break. Mm. Well, as you know, uh, recently, uh, Song Mino, he actually featured in an uh, epic high song, Born Hater. Actually, I've Born had a, a, have a newfound respect for Mino, you know, thanks to that song. song. Yes. <laughs> Born Hater. I'm a Born Hater. I love that song. Yes. Sorry. And uh, if you watch, um, you know, actually, uh, they did a, uh, a stage together. Yes, uh, they did. It was, wow. I was like, I, I saw the stage and I was like, oh, I'm so jealous, but... It was actually so great. I wanted to, I wanted to do that kind of performance on stage mm. soon. Did you okay. watch it? Prince? Where was it? Um, Mama? Yeah. Yeah, I watched it. I watched it. Yes, it was a it great was. performance. I watched it. Yeah, I wanted to watch it. Was great it. it was, it was. Me and the members were watching and we're like, oh. I want to do this stage. Yeah, but then, you know, we're jealous. We're like, I'm not going to watch it. No, <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me see. Oh, my God. Okay, what about yeah, Gus 7? Uh, Gus 7, they've been doing a lot of um, things all around the world, you know, whether it's... Um, you know, fan meeting mini mm. concerts and stuff like that and like you know like I said they debuted in Japan and then for their debut the fan meeting the first fan meeting had 10,000 fans attend a fan meeting in Japan mm. you know and that really much just um, says how great JYP I mean um, yes JYP got, that's there is kind of great JYP too right? <laughs> <Got> <laughs> meetings internationally like, mm. I agree you know um, we know in, in Korea we know he's doing, doing better mm. yes. in, in music shows or whatever but I think uh, as an international group and now we're talking on international radio, Arirang. I think GOT7 should be just that step ahead. Yeah, well, you know, GOT7 debuted, you know, before Winner too, you know. Winner actually debuted after us, but yeah, I'm yeah. thinking if Winner also goes out, I think they would do, do pretty good Got, too. Uh, yeah, Winner, uh, GOT7 did debut before Winner, but Winner, you know, before their debut, they were already known as well mm. as Team mm. A, Team B, just as like GOT7. But GOT7, they were only um, known to the public on the program Win. Okay. That's how that went into the public. Well, before there was JJ Project, and you know they they sort of gave hints about we're coming back with other mm. members. So people say, oh yeah, but then, mm, well, okay. I think I think winners better though. All right, so Prince continue Prince to Prince send in your votes for Prince Mac or for Eddie. Prince Mac is supporting Got Seven. Eddie's uh, supporting Winner. Mm -hmm. uh, the loser today is going to have uh, laundry pins put on their face. Oh, save Very Eddie. My save finger Eddie. hurts. So uh, continue oh. to send in your votes. We've got Got Seven with A, followed by Winner with Coloring, and we'll see you guys after this with the winner. Okay, so it is time to find out. Who you want you want to say some last words before we find out? Save to Eddie. Save to Eddie. Eddie. My finger hurts, man. Oh. Finger and face has so nothing. <laughs> nothing during to do the with song each break, other. during the song break, though, we uh, we tried them out, and uh, oh. Prince agrees that it hurts, but Eddie's like, Nah, this don't hurt. Yeah, so, you know, it's not a penalty from you know vote for Eddie. Let's see Prince in pain. Oh, oh. Uh, no one wants to, oh that's me. That is me. That's me. That's me. No one wants to see Prince in pain. Come on, I never wanted to see you in pain. No, you always wanted to see me no, in pain. No, I just wanted liar. to but not pain. No. Liar, 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 pants on fire. Okay, so uh, let's find out who is drummer, please. Oh. Uh, it looks like that uh, Prince Back is going to be in pain again today. I'm sorry. Oh. Eddie, you won. Oh, what? Okay, Thank you so guys. Save Eddie. Because, Prince, because they do hurt, you might want to just put as many as you can on maybe your fingers. Actually, wait, hold on. Can, can, I, can, I, can I do it? Yeah, sure. Uh, but make sure, it, make sure it... Yeah. Don't oh, hurt man. him too much. Okay. Those are painful. I tried yes, them. They hurt. Okay, not on the they though. hurt. <laughs> We've been trying to oh. spread them out as much as possible. Oh, what? Is this? What? What? Oh, what? Is this? <laughs> oh. Ah. Ah. I hate you. Ah. Oh, I forget that. Oh, oh, that looks painful. Oh, oh yeah, I'm switched to radio. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, not the mic. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay, our last track for today is Don't Flirt by a Winner. You. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. Oh, no. oh I told you not to know. <laughs> 